Hi, this is Shadi and in this video I'm gonna do a recap or revisit uh, an old video of mine I did. I think it was maybe the third or fourth video that I did. Um, I was new to YouTube when it comes to narration, uh, sound, etc. And it's just I need to revisit it for several reasons. First of all, the god-awful narration and two, um, there's a few things that I need to correct because uh, I learned better and now that I have a larger audience I need to be more responsible and not just leave out misinformation like this um, it's nice to document my YouTube journey but if there's something I said that uh, I learned better I should uh, come back and also make it clear and correct the information so and also there was no hi this is Shady which is kind of becoming like a catchphrase and I really like it so like I said a terrible audio terrible narration and also there is misinformation so I would like to get back and revisit this topic because it's a topic that we all love to talk about and that is the leg locks so you can see Kyuzo Mifune uh, demonstrating quite a bit of them and the first thing that I did not do in that video was mention Ashi Garami Ashi Garami is the nastiest leg lock uh, there is and also uh, I don't know why it slipped my uh, attention so let's look at it uh, again I've talked about it a few a bit uh, before so here it is you go faint like a tomoenage you wrap the leg with the other leg you split the legs apart and you put a downward pressure on the side of the knee which immediately pops it and it is not like a knee bar or a heel hook you can feel the progression uh, even a heel hook you can kind of feel something going on inside your knee so you can tap it's not like uh, it's just gonna pop immediately unless you have like a high tolerability to pain but most of us who have like a good sensitivity would just feel it and immediately go for the tap so let's look at it again Garami is a dangerous technique and is not allowed in randori or in competition. leg lock that I would like to talk about is the Kata Ashi Hishigi. It is the straight ankle lock in modern terms. Uh, you can see here in the uh, Kaweshi book it is very well demonstrated. Uh, it talks about lifting your hips up and also pulling backwards, clamping your knees uh, together in order to prevent an escape and you r retreat one of your ankles backward in order to prevent your leg getting caught in a straight ankle lock and also the other on the hip not on the side of uke in also to prevent him from uh, posturing up and preventing the leg lock maybe uh, use your pants to uh, break the, the hold and here you can see another variation where you can do it standing up pulling backwards extending uh, the hips uh, classical leg locks also used in jujitsu uh, today so the straight ankle lock is one of them the, the third is the knee bar i've actually done a video on the knee bar and how it was invented the context of it it was a uh, cousin uh, high school competition between uh, the team of tsunetane oda and the team of kanemitsu yaichi Yoe. and yaichi Yoe actually invented the knee bar and also the triangle choke with his student so it's actually relatively very new it was invented in 1921 five years after the ban of ashi garami and it stirred up a lot of controversy uh, i'll link the video down below so you can learn more about uh, the knee bar but it is the re most recent leg lock invented and the next one is the ashi dori garami uh, it, this is 
like a variable of tow holds. Uh, it's also known as the course crew footlock, where you lock the the ankle with uh, with your hands and blocking the shin, and also pulling backwards. It's uh, not just uh, like your standard toe hold, but it is kind of like a variation of it. Uh, you can see also Kyuzo Mifune just grabbing the the side of the foot and the heel and just twisting it. You don't need to do like a figure four and stuff. So it's kind of like a variation of the toe hold. Uh, Dean Lister explained it very well. Would call it get the core screw foot lock when you turn to him you can actually pull backwards and it really puts a lot of pressure it hurts far more than just a uh, traditional toe hold so the ashidori garami is one of them it's a japanese here the calf slice the ash hiza hishigi it is uh, it is like a double edged sword it can be very safe and also it can be very cruel when you just start to really put pressure on the knee because believe it or not uh, it attacks the calf both in the knee as well and it is very much used in bearing bolos and uh, MMA uh, you know leg locks in MMA are very limited due to the uh, striking etc but however one of the most pulled off leg locks in MMA is the calf slice and there it is the Hiza Hishigi so it is nice to know where they come from and here you can see it in MMA clearly it looks very nasty and last but not least I asked about the heel hook in my original video I did not know where it came from and now I know that it comes from uh, catch wrestling it, I couldn't find any evidence that it is Japanese however I did find uh, some evidence that it is from catch and another thing that I said that was uh, factually incorrect in my first video is that um, I said the IJF banned the leg locks, however, uh, it was the Kodokan that was first banned the leg locks and when the IJF came to be, uh, the leg locks were already banned. So Jigoro Kano wanted leg locks to be banned in uh, Jujutsu Judo competitions because back then uh, Kano Jiu Jitsu was competing against the old Koryu and when uh, Tanabe attempted the uh, Ashi Garami and injured someone. Jigoro Kano was the first to uh, contest against leg locks and uh, it was banned officially in the Kodokan in 1922 a year after the invention of the knee bar so it was way before the uh, foundation of the IJF so I apologize for the misinformation and another thing I did in that video was rant about leg locks at the end because I talked about they should be at least taught and uh, learned how to defend against and also uh, you know talked about kind of like leg grabs when you do in kata etc and i'm still uh i'm still in this stance however i did change my mind when it comes to leg locks i think they should uh, be back just like neiwaza competition there was uh leg locks allowed like the knee bar um the straight ankle lock, the toe hold, I think the heel hook and the neck cranks were the only submissions that were not allowed. Even wrist locks uh, were allowed in Neiwaza competition and nobody got hurt. Uh, some of them attempted them, etc. Maybe you can do like an age limit, then that should be fine. For example, cadet were not allowed to do leg locks, but uh, seniors and masters or veterans, I'm sorry, can do them so I mean why not just why not for example when you curl like a ball when you protect yourself you are very vulnerable to a calf slice if someone pulls your pants backward and you know liberated your leg you can eas easily fall victim to a calf slice a toe hold and uh, the knee bar so doing curling up in a ball and just waiting for the referee to do mate it is very childish and it's very dangerous as well because you know think of it in another uh, fight scenario would you do that in the street would you do that in mma would you do that like or they would just stomp your head until you just basically be your head, brain becomes jello so 
curling up in a ball is a very very bad idea and uh, I don't know why it exists I mean for competition rules it, it's I mean you can get away with it but when it comes to real fighting and you know avoiding being harmed and also avoiding losing it's a very bad idea how many people have been turned and put in osaikomi or put in like an arm bar from that from that position it's a bad idea no matter how you look at it maybe you can do like a fancy spin like the upside down guard and avoid you know being pinned down and from that upside down guard you can roll over your shoulder and get back up but doing that ball i would rather get pinned than do it i got pinned in my last competition because I didn't uh, turn around and put myself on my stomach and it's just my na natural reaction because I learned it from Jiu Jitsu class and not Judo so curling up in a ball and uh, it would leave you prone to uh, pins just regular uh, locks like uh, an omoplata and also leg locks like the calf slice and the toe hold so this is another rant I did the last one I did kind of like a similar rant but this one is absolutely crucial now I know far better I've competed uh, in variable context the regular judo and the Neiwaza and I roll with people purple belts etc and they put me in leg locks and I have no problem with it but you need to look out for your legs as well defend them and hide them from your opponent and also do not curl up and turn your head away it's just a terrible idea in general not just in judo and mma and bjj so i wanted to revisit this video like i said uh, i had terrible narration skills and also there was a quite a few misinformation and also i missed out on the ashi garami so if you have another thing to add just the comment section is wide open as always um, I would love to discuss this subject with you even further because it is a very indeed controversial subject uh, you can ban one leg lock or two that's fine the IBJJF does it they even ban the suplex or the uranage but don't just ban them all together because someone got hurt a lot of Fabio Basile got hurt with an armbar uh, some people were put to sleep uh, from chokes so you're just gonna bend them too no so it's it's foolish to lose these techniques uh, put them back I mean, ban the ashigarami I would agree it is dangerous uh, but the knee bar and the toe hold the straight ankle lock the calf slice I mean people will just tap it's not that it doesn't take a genius to figure out that it hurts just like the armbar hurts or the omoplata hurts so banning them all together is is absurd in my opinion and i will do a video on uh judo rules because i downloaded the pdf i ran through it i read it i and i saw a few absurd things that i did not even know existed and i will discuss them with you so i will show you uh, the slides and discuss every uh, ban. I'm not gonna talk about everything because it's a, like a book, but I'm gonna talk about the things that we cannot do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening. この